come online because he feels like the missing piece. Uh, he's definitely missing in one way or another, but hopefully they can find him. Big. They will have taken very forward-facing positions. Got some in the meanwhile. They've got a very interesting way of actually playing overpass. I quite enjoy their CT side. It's very heavily centered around control of connector and trying to go for pincer plays on either side. But control of connector is going to be a pretty big point on both sides right now. Tabson is taking point, though. This is his chance to make up, and he's done so nicely. First kill goes his way. Crystal to fall. And Farling, at least, he's not the one who goes down with all the utility, but... Tabson is still creeping in, and he can find a lot of information. Yeah, he denies rotation, so Godsend have to go towards B. The smokes will sail through. Keto denied vision into the site, so they're going to have a, an open bomb site. as Big had put so much emphasis on party and connector control, and Steeko given the fights. They win out in the duels initially, but the trades are coming in. Tizian makes it a one versus two now. Zen left in the hot seat. And Zen's been so used to his behind being warm. It's time to see if he can use it to burn them alive. He's going to start to peek out. Beautiful stuff. Zen oh. is a monster and a half. And you can't deal with this man on this map. Three kills to start things off. Zen walks away victorious. That flick on the last player was disgusting. It starts out well for Big. They contain them to the site, but this is where it all started to go a little bit wrong. Sure, they come out ahead in the trades, but Zen was unseen, unchecked, and the last one bullet... God sent narrowly taking the pistol. It comes oh. off of Zen. Sharp shot from Searson. Gets a lot of praise for his scout abilities. He's showing it off here in the second map. Very often called the best scout player in the world, actually. Strong praise when you have Mouse Sports still. Well, I mean, technically they're eliminated, but Mouse Sports in the tournament having Scout J himself, but even so. Good to see him fragging out. Now, one thing interesting to note is, like I mentioned before, Big I don't have a single player outside of Tizian who is statistically averaging above a 1.00 rating on this map. Crystal, leading the charge. Tabson walks into him, and that's a quick demise. Saracen will get a tag, which is good, but it's not a oh. kill. He'll have to reface for that, and he's successful in finding it. Oh. Continues to rain oh. fire and hell. Brimstone will come through and swallow oh. up God said That's an ace cut from Urson if I've ever seen one. It is... It is not very often that you get to see a scout ace. We got very close to it earlier with Arky, but this is just beautiful stuff. What in God's name? I mean, yeah, best scout in the world. I wouldn't put it past him because he just has so much efficiency. Two headshots in the round, just continual tag damage and follow-up. God said couldn't get an inch, they couldn't move past him. He is the immovable object when he is on that scout. And I'm glad to see him off to a good start. Where it gives us a much more exciting series. And Harris though peeks out and into Stiko he goes. Knocks him down. And with this, a minute and twenty on the clock. God sent. They'd like to be able to bring out some of those Deagle shenanigans that we saw in Mirage as well, but Michael, this is going to be very difficult. Searson still has that scout, and at this point, I'm just terrified. And I wouldn't be if I was mod, and he just comes in with a quick little 1D. There is immediately the frame on the other side of the map, but Tizian still preventing Martin from regressing forward. Bomb will be planted, money Ooh. guaranteed, but money isn't all that's guaranteed. Life being taken oh. away, Zen's fighting out. The Tech-9 oh, and Deagle doing God. so much damage, but it's just not enough. Kiro comes in to save the day. Can we just go back to, to the B-side executes? I mean, they're, I mean, I, actually that's not even that much better. These have been really chaotic rounds from either side. Kido, <laughs> you can see he's frustrated that they've even gone for the double swing CT. Puts them in a really precarious spot. Yeah, he's re he's not happy about that one. I mean, if I'm if I'm Kido, I'm just happy that I win. It didn't look like they were going to at that point. When the Tech-9s and the Eagles started getting up close and personal, I thought Zen would just be able to take it away again. But man, you've got Zen on a heater. You've got Sersen coming in, burning his hands on his own. This is... Shaping out to be what should be a very good game. That's what we want, isn't it? At the end of the day. Of course, with the ace that we had earlier, we have Searson on ridiculous ADR numbers. 
I don't think those are reliable at this point. Yeah, I don't think he'll he'll keep that up. But at least if you're godson, you would hope not. I mean, in, instructing, know. asking his teammate to stand over here. He can jump salt with the MP9, clear out short. Mm. Tapson's gonna be a very pivotal player in this game with how he's been focused on long and the bathrooms. The amount of control that you need in those two areas is not insignificant versus Godsend, who do sometimes like to get aggressive in the long. Tizian finds himself the first kill, MP9 to come through. Good little kill to get, but Terra side are still waiting. Keto blinded up completely. Tees are looking to go in. It's going to be Stiko who starts to creep up from short. He's going to be a big risk. Keto, however, has already found the tap on Amarden and damage on top of it. Stiko wanting to peek out, but the smoke on top of him is going to be making it difficult. While Tabson, I said it before and I'll say it again. Long position, very influential when you can catch off Christian going into connector later on. Stiko will find one, but not two. And that leaves Farlig alone. And his demise is certainly not written in stone, but it's shortly being etched in. Yeah, there's Searson finally chiseling that one on the tombstone. A third round there for Big, a cleaner round at that. Had its fair set of interesting duels. Ultimately, keeping most of their players alive is an important point to note. Godsent, not going to have too much to invest into this round. Of course, their money situation never got going. Even though that was a gun round that just occurred. Good early utility here from Big. Just to, pr to pressure if Godsend went for a faster play with just these pistols. Spamming away, Zentaris over at B. And Godsend are getting a lot more room now towards Party and Long because in spite of that early set of utility, Big are playing far more contained into the sights. And you have to start wondering how much of this comes down to the fact that they have now, you know, I wouldn't say the confidence has been knocked down, but I'm sure they're probably taking gods in a bit more seriously at this point. You know, on paper, Big should be completely outclassing them. The rank six team in the world versus what I think Godson is currently 21 or 27 on the ESL rankings. Tabson though, peeks in, finds an important kill and a second one right there with it. Tabson. You want to see him get those oh. eco kills because Tizian, on the other hand, almost ends up losing his life. Tapson will be the one to fall, but the only one so far. Yeah, and an unwinnable position, really, for Crystal. P250, no real space. Keto finding the last frag. Now we'll see the reinvestment. God sent. Back onto rifles. Father can afford up the AWP. It does mean he'll have to make a significant compromise. Hoping on the T side is something that does see quite a lot of play, but it depends how quickly T sides want to operate around it. If you're going to have an AWP, slowing things down, working picks a bit more methodically is typically the, the line you'll go for. The other things on the cards. God sent fast in towards B. Martin trying to deny space and oh, he's caught out. Keto down nice and early. But look at the wrapping play from Big. They're completely flanking them out before they crack the site. And Tapson still alive in the back lines. For now, God sent have a narrow man advantage. But Farlick and Madden, so low HP oh. and the, the healthy player, he's gone. Zen out of the round. And Tabson has control over the bomb, so they have to go back to him. Searson's walking forward. He's going to drop down and doesn't take any damage, thankfully. At this point, any sliver of HP can be a difference maker. They don't even have a flashbang for Tabson. Yes, they have a smoke if they want to use it, but Farleg is pretty soon going to be going down to Searson at this rate. Sorry, not Searson, to Tabson at this rate. My bad. The sins can come back to bite you. But this is so nicely done. They're both getting together, congregating, but... The problem's always going to be you have to check both angles as well. Tabson, however, he's not looking the right way. And now he's expecting someone for sure to come from Monster. But Martin saves the day. And that was so nicely played from Martin and Farley all throughout. Because although Big come through from short and they're able to get the advantage, mm -hmm. the fact that Martin and Farley run away from the smoke and they're no longer underneath the line of fire and can stay alive for as long as they did, that's what actually wins them that round. And yes, at the end of it all, a really nice two-man play. Tabson keeps expecting a player to come from Monster, and then Martin, with the delayed push through short, is able to catch him completely off guard. Really nice stuff at the end of the day. Uh, 
Nicely navigated when and put in an awkward spot. It still came down to such a close set of duels. I think it's fair to say we're getting a different Tabson coming into map two. Slapped himself across the cheeks, knows he has to perform a little stronger for the side. Cesar does spot them out towards short. So a little bit of information being blood on over to big. Tabson's still jumping around, having a grand old time over at A. That smoke will put an end to his more entertaining ventures. Oh, you what say that, but do. Tabson is looking to entertain. That's what he's trying to do. He's going forward, finds one, but that'll be all. Crystal to take him down and lay the charge onwards. Lars playing entry on overpass at times can be a very effective one. But for now, he is more just looking to bait out you, bait out some rotations, see what he can force out, see if they can do some aggression. Got back, but rotations are actually going to be stalled. Big are not changing positions, and then Nade is quite deadly, along with the flashbang to go with it. Godsend are not sure where they want to go. They're just darting yeah. to and fro between connector, but they are not moving even now. Not going to hear this rotation in from Crystal, so Searson is very susceptible. Centaurus has to get there in time. Searson shows his hand, shows his position. Centaurus looking to reinforce, but Crystal, Farley, they both crack into the site. And it gets a little bit dicey with the timings, but they finally make their way towards A. Zen looking for the flank. Knows that that's a possibility. Oh. The UMP is going to let Keto down. Tizian, one versus three, and this is not looking like a position that he can pull this off. No kit available. No real space. They could be up close and personal. It's going to try and save this rifle. And this is exactly why Godsend like and prioritize connector control so much because it gives them the ability to yo-yo across bomb sites so quickly. You'll very often see Godsend make a play where they get toilet control and have B short control and really exploit the fact that teams like Big sometimes aren't able to get aggressive through those after they've given them up the first time over. Retaking B short mm -hmm. is a protocol that some teams just don't have. And when that's visible, well, then Godson's rocking you. Uh, Godson's just walking in and destroying any hope you had. And this is where maybe just a little bit, I start to wonder how much of this pick is Godson's confidence and how much of this pick is Godson saying, yeah, big probably don't have a certain amount of protocols where we have a much better advantage against them because of it. Now, considering the way this started for big, I was getting myself geared up for potentially a flip-flop in the map picks. I like the uh, level of aggression that Big are willing to implement in these rounds. So look at Tizian. There's the kill on Madden. So he spots out two more players here for Godsend. Let's just lean them towards this B side, especially with the limited investment. Tabson going even Stevens, he trading things out. And he's, he's got himself hands on an AK as well. This is really dire, but Zen pulls it back, equalizes the affair. This is oh, the spam for Tabson. Does land on Crystal. And again, connector Zantaris. control. Godsend can back away. Yeah, but Zantaris can pick up another AK-47, even an AWP. So if they want to say that's another story, but if they want to go for this, I wouldn't hate it. No kit makes it tricky, but Zantaris' position is actually really good for the AWP as well. Tabson doesn't have HP, and that's the only thing I'm worried about because Zen has a nade in his pocket, and that's going to be a deadly one if he actually ends up throwing it. Crystal playing from long. He will be re-navigating in through the toilet, so Zantaris has to be very wary of that fact. Meanwhile, there is still Zen to keep an eye out for. Crystal wins that duel out the second he gets that first bullet. There just isn't a chance, and with the bomb being defused, Tabson forced them out into oh. his arms, and he gets the first one, looking for more. Doesn't have a kid, and they should realize this. Crystal swings across, realizes he's not going for the defuse, and Crystal... Clutches that one out. Really nice attempt from Tabson, but at the end of the day, Zantaris just delivered an AWP to Crystal's hands. Yeah, I thought with as much time running off the clock, Big may have gone for the save instead, prioritizing the AWP presence, because you see what the economy is like for Big. Yeah. Not going to have that in Searson's hands. We've seen the proficiencies with the scoped rifles, and he's yeah, going to stick to his scout. gun. Yeah, he's, he's got fine the scout, yeah. <laughs> You know, I would have much preferred the AWP. I, you consider that an upgrade. Maybe not in serious in times. Probably equally capable. Yeah, we saw it earlier. Five out of his eight kills so far have been with a scout. Maybe even... Actually, six of them have been with a scout. Never mind. Serson. 
waiting for them to start creeping forward. But look at Stiko. He's found it. And he has taken away the melody of Biggs round he has taken away any chance he had farlig will now oh. miss a shot though and maybe that chance has been retrieved farlig's missed shot leads to a chance and now keto starts to move inwards Tico still around the corner is wary about keto's positioning flashbang coming in would be very helpful but there is no flashbang to be had keto just drive peeks in Tico will fall and they're making progress towards the a site zen takes a tag by the scout, but this is still on for big. They don't have a kit to play off of, so time is of the essence. They're seeing if they can get this flag activated fast enough. There's two players approaching from that position. Madden trying to hold behind. Zen, the only one committed towards the site. He does have Crystal close by. So trades can be effective, but time, big. They need to go. The flash in, Zen holding the initial line and taps it, has his number, Crystal put under pressure, but he delivers the kill he needs to. There they are, sticking the plant, sticking the defuse. It's going to go the way of big, and it's going to be really I'm close on the defuse. Keto just pulls oh, it off. My God. A fifth round for big, but it's oh so close. That is all coming down to the fact that Farley missed a few shots over there, and you see Tizzy and just being able to... Was it Tizzy or Tabson? Dude, there's so many people whose names end with Sin in this team. <laughs> I think it was Tizian. Uh, Tizian just baits out the shot, and when Farling misses it, that's his game over. For a second there, I thought Stiku's pickoff would be able to lead them to an easy round win in a situation where Big's already slightly handicapped because of the lack of an AWP. But the aggression pays off in a situation even where Godson is expecting it. That's a little bit upsetting, honestly. Yeah, you almost burst out into song. I was expecting to see the full choir on that B-bomb site because of what hey, Stiko was, was doing. I, w I was ready. I was ready. You know, I was I was hitting my harmonies. I was hitting yeah. my notes. But I wasn't sure whether to join you or not, but I don't think the, the viewers the want to hear that. The answer is always yes. Uh, uh, the answer is always yes. It doesn't matter if the viewers want to hear it or not. We go <laughs> singing and songering together. But the question is, Sersen, is he going to be singing a ballad of death and despair for the side of Godson, or will this be far like to try and respond with only a Galil? David versus Goliath, but I have a feeling at this time Goliath may win. Don't know about win. Goliath certainly backs off. <laughs> hey, who said Saracen's a Goliath? What are you talking about? Maybe. Nah, I'm joking. Of course. <laughs> yeah, of, of course. Of course, he was the Goliath. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Again, a priority here taken by Godson. That connector control we've highlighted gives them options into the late round. Sirison's still so committed in towards bathrooms. They do bypass him. So now this smoke will act as a bit of coverage that Godson won't have to worry about. The problem is, look at what Tabson's doing. He's wrapping around from long, and he's had so much impact from this position, almost getting himself a secondary kill as well. And Searson pushing in with the AWP. It's an AWP in the back line, oh! and Madden plucked out of the air. Crystal, he has the sight, but little else. No bomb, no teammates, four players left, and Big shut it down. Yeah, he's definitely the Goliath. Yeah, if there was it's ever not even a David. Doubt. It's not even David versus Goliath. It's literally Timmy versus Goliath. And if you're wondering who Timmy is, well, let's not forget, even in the mythology, <laughs> Goliath killed a lot of people before David. <laughs> I'm sure one of them was called Timmy. It's okay, Timmy. Uh, it's you'll right. always remember. He didn't go quite down in the history books, but... Right, so who's up next? Bobby! <laughs> Well, Bobby's not got much to do over here. Goliath is even protected by his guardian, and Tabson will be more than happy to defend his liege. Comes through, gets a few easy anti-ecos, and continues dominating those. Always happy to see that from a player who hasn't been performing too well in the series. Give yourself the confidence boost. Give yourself a pat on your own bum. That's what you want. Great stuff all around. Not too many players lost either. Those Zantaris will probably have to be fairly careful. Farling will be tagged up as well. Zantaris pushing in is a bit dangerous. That's why he just starts to go for wall banks instead. Farling, however, will end up going down. It is key to escort him down to the fire. We talked about Tabson being a bit of a liability in the first map. 
that is not the case now that we enter overpass we weren't sure what big yeah. <laughs> we're gonna bring to the table tabson's leading the way yes i i, I had 16 kills in 11 rounds a good score yeah only six deaths as well you know he's not yeah finding kills and getting traded out consistently and look at what they're doing in connector as well they go for the boost a denial play here for godsend and it's good to see them realizing how much of an emphasis godsend puts on connector but big you do end up backing off before zen can creep through so Zen still has a chance, but Seiko is here, matched up, gorgeous it initially, repeats out, refaces, but it's only one, and Zantaris does more than just that. Still a two for two trade across the map, but the advantage is then taken out from Godsend. Three versus two, lots of utility from Big, but they are inevitably going to be forced to use it early on. And then Godsend can just maneuver, but look at this Zen, that little crack angle. He was hoping that Zantaris would push into him. Fortunately for Big, he does not. Crystal, in the oh. meanwhile, though, tapped away. Keto says goodbye. And with this, uh, 50 seconds. The clock is ticking down, but the bomb is entering the B-bomb site. Farlig and Zen, over they go. Rotation is making its way through. As Antares' position is great, and aim is even oh, better. Gets himself well. two. And with that, that'll be all she wrote. Four kills for the man himself. Eight to four for Big. And Keto finding that kill on Crystal is so impactful. As soon as he does that, he rotates to help support Zentaris, who was finding a lot of these kills over at B. You can see that first kill, the flash that follows, makes it easier. That's all because Keto tapped Crystal down over on the A site. That's a bit of readability as well for Godsend. Typically, it is Crystal in these lurking positions. Sometimes they'll swap it between Stiko if he's able to find a timing or thinks he might be able to capitalize on rotations into late round situations the keto really doing a good job of locking down that a site because they had to be separated and making that quick rotation to support the timeout elapsed it's cold initially and god sent have to do a lot of thinking here this is their map pick after they steal it away in an overtime slog on mirage we think they're in a good position, but bigger showing us a strong CT side. Look at that made Keto's just set up for success, but the setup is from the T side. They're able to recover an AK off of it as well. Let's not forget they've got plenty of players with Kevlar. So remember this is Godsend pursuit Godsend's pursuit of six rounds. So any rounds you can sneak away at this point are all vital, but Crystal has been slapped on the side of his head. Never pleasant, never nice. Air's left ringing. Tizian, however, wants to be ringing some bells. Dong, dong, ditch. But Zantaris has ditched this world and gone on to the hereafter. Now onto a four versus three. At least the gun isn't in, in a recoverable position. The bomb, however, well, in Farlig's possession, he can go wherever he wants to. 45 seconds is ample time when you've got connector control, so Godsend could try and get tricky. Martin on the AK-47. I would really love to see him pass that over to Zen, who's got all the HP he needs, as well as head armor. But Tabson is waiting. This is going to be disaster. Oh. Tabson's raid them all down! Just Crystal left, and the nade will be the cherry on top, but even before he can pluck it out, he's had his cake. What is going on for Tabson? Was he just saving his energy? The first map he thought was a write-off? Like, yeah, it's a weak map for God's sake. You guys got this one. He couldn't quite activate in time. You know, a slow wind-up period. He's on to 20 kills. Not even been 20 rounds yet. Like, Michael, maybe Tabson's like, uh, Tabson's like the Dragon Ball Z generation. <laughs> it takes you 40 minutes to warm up and get to an acceptable level of power. <laughs> and then you come out and blow up oh. the planet. Okay, Tizian, not quite the planet, but at least Zen's world has been blown up. Zantaris will do the same to Stiko. He's never slowing down. Sirson, in the meanwhile, will now creep in. He is just rocking, rolling all over Godsend. And at this point, I have to start asking myself, we had some mistakes in the video yesterday. Is this another one of those days? Godsend are being dominated. I mean, they make sense on the statistics, so I'll assume that they're <laughs> correct, but... Yeah, yeah, of course. 
got sent coming with a, a mentality maybe that they could have just won this easily given that bigs are aren't the most comfortable on this map they don't play it willingly they're not slouching around don't think this is a winnable position really for crystal yeah serious and holding the rotation the off angle with the off on the fountain big double digits on the ct side that it was really what i felt was the the comfortable spot for ct size to get to i could see them getting the 11th as well because the money for godsend not gonna be the most ideal coming into this round you could see a deagle a galil in and amongst the weaponry that godsend will have for the last round of the half so we've lost bobby timmy and johnny so far the question is who is Goliath's next victim going to be Big of uh, found out that it's Zen, actually. Sersen pushes out from long this time over, finds himself an early kill, but Martin is good for the response. However, he's not quite that good. Only a single point of HP left on him, and although we've seen a few heroics with a single point of HP, something tells me this might not be one of those rounds, but I've lied to myself and the viewers are like, Martin gets two before being traded away. Now, who steps up for Godsend? They've been struggling so far. Nobody out fragging the others in any big stretch. Keto does find Crystal. So again, that will lead them to believe that it was a lurking play in from Crystal Tizzy and on the Tizzy. flank and they go to clear it. But Stiko Ooh. loses his life for that endeavor. Volix now left in a one versus two. He has to clutch it out and it's all positioning all day long. He's going to come in from the side. Could catch off Tizian off guard. Tizian is not expecting this. He's caught the timing. He's caught the wind in his sails. And Farleg is going to come in from the side. Will finish off Tizian. Easy does well. it. So beautiful. Tizian will go around the corner, though. And he's checking it. He's aware, but he's not enough. It's just not enough. And Farleg with a flashbang as well. Can start to peek out. Big is going for the defuse. Farleg will clutch it out. Farleg! Oh. Barely gets it done. And with that, it's the fifth round for Godsend. Not a pretty start, but maybe they can make it a prettier finish. We'll be back with the second half after a short break. As Glyph tries to throw the Molotov, but the smoke has just been deployed. Glyph realizes he needs to go into the open, and Stown is going to shut him down as well. That's it is. That's all five kills for Stown. What a round. What a beast. And that's 11 on the board for Heroic. Super. A kill that very well could have propelled Fnatic into a round-winning position. Archie well, smoked off. Roland, big dig. That's the bomb that gets dropped as well. Can he rinse another one? 
not quite. Playing waste for the oncoming Thieves. Now knows there's a player just above him, which is MBK. Flush has made no noise. He has kept his position completely stealthy. Playing incognito. Flush! Oh my god! That last dig is disgusting! And it's the 4K for Flusher, and it's for now. They're still here for G2. Everybody's here on endpoint. Amanek, he's starting to move back into this. Has to look away from the flash, but actually connects the kill before it. And then Hunter steps up. His 26th kill on the board. Jack's blinded, brings it back, but it's the trio of frags for Hunter. Absolute shutdown yet again. They can't find any entry past that short shelf. Launder's A site is closed. It's not every day you see someone re-smoke your spawn on the CT side here, so, you know, really hard for endpoint to read into what to do properly there and another situation where even though the round they have to scurry to get rid of this man and vince they succeed they do just succeed but now half of the fuse is gone they need to make moves and they need to make them quickly apex now standing in position for two kills below the window he will strike and vitality and zen the question is, can Godsend finally embody David once they've started on their CT side? None other than Michael Yumi Cassidy on the microphone with me. I'm Tea Time, and let's get into this action. Godsend looking to start things off strong. Stiko will not find a head, and he will back off immediately. Kiro in the meanwhile pushing through into the B-bomb site, looking oh. to get a quick one, but Martin will take advantage of off his fumble and finds a kill instead. Yeah, players splashed up and jumping around. Kido couldn't quite adapt in time. Farley's low HP, but still challenging. Martin looking for the duels. Then we'll trade things out. Centaurus is running out of ammo. He's doing spirals. He's actually styling on them. A secondary kill as well. That's not going to be a trade that they come out on top of. Zen and Farley still very low HP. Those were the players challenging over towards long, but Searson looking to reposition. Says so him. Has shown us so many big moments. Is this going to be another one of them? Doable, yes. Tico's the only person who could be troublesome because of his full HP, but person has gone through, sees the first player. Can't quite land the shot. The bomb plant will at least be secure, and they will be facing him together. Sersen sees a shadow, oh. gets a dink as well. That's Tico, like I said, the only player who could be giving him some trouble. If that, honestly, if Tico is even like tagged down by five HP, Sersen probably wins that. He just had to, like, you saw the slight jitter in his aim because he hesitated. Mm. He thought he'd gotten the first kill. It's so unfortunate. That was so such a nice attempt from Zerson. Yeah, he dinks the only player that could survive it. Yeah, so. exactly. It's a uh, wounded god sent to take the pistol. Listen, man, gods can bleed, but they cannot fall, apparently. Well, I mean, that's something to be tested. Uh, so far, they've been falling quite often, but hopefully, you know, they've uh, found their footing. They found their sea legs on overpass. Yeah, have you seen the paw print, the big leaf? It's massive. <laughs> That's a big beast. It is true. It is true. Big have got four legs and they're out in the wild. That is what they are. The question is, where will the wilderness take them? The bee bomb site seems to be an attractive tourist destination, but that attraction is brought by danger and danger is wrought with blood bloodshed on the b-bomb side zen to be the one to take them down under pulls out the p250 as well but not needing to use it so far crystal flashed up playing from short kiro oh. will find two nice eagle shots and now martin will oh, try dear. but be unsuccessful he's farley in a one versus two to try and clutch it all out big is ready to once again take this one away but not before farley's given a fair shot Still firing through the smoke, trying to find anything. They'll move in, and the shadow is visible. It gets dangerous. It gets close. But at the end of the day, it is still God sent to win. I wasn't sweating at all. Not at all. Sure. <laughs> I'm here just waiting to see how Kido has pulled that one off. Two yep. quick deagle kills, back-to-back -back headshots. Very On that B site. Well. Yeah, very... I mean, that's ridiculous. It gives them just enough room to get into post plants. And it had to be Farley to come in clutch. Of course, he knew that Tabson was low HP, so he focused on the player below him instead. So Tabson had to commit to the plan. Mm. They've now had some really close rounds for Godson on the CT side. They survived by the skin of their teeth and the pistol. The round to follow afterwards as well. You can see the reinvestment here from Big. They've got a pretty strong and healthy buy, all things considered. A scout on Searson. 
You know, there's a couple of Galils darting about, but there's some utility around it. Yeah, two bomb plants will help with that. That is for sure. But more than that, the one place where Godson actually have a little bit more breathing room is because Zen actually found himself three kills with the MP9. So he has the M4A4. A few more rifles than you would ordinarily expect after it goes down to a one versus one and you've actually purchased a few rifles. It's a good place to be. However, they still need to capitalize off of it. We've seen plenty of places where Big and Searson's legendary scout have come out on top of a few interesting rounds. Modern, boosts it up. Giving me good old Olaf Meister flashbacks. I miss those days, but hey, what can you do? Now, Crystal, however, jumps across. He's not going to be able to find too much information, but Mart is the first one to find the kill. The map boost will be the direction that God sent move in. Tabs is bypassing them all together. Martin has the high ground. He's not spotted Tabs in so close, and Taras will eventually take him down in distance, and Tabs and activates. Bomb can now get planted in. Not exactly a healthy Tabs, so the MP9 is so susceptible. So good at closing the gap, and they finally rush him down at two versus three now. They don't have utility to really deny this. They don't have a smoke to no allow kit. that defuse to come through or a kit. Steco pushes forward, finds Zentaris, brings them down. You've got to do this the old-fashioned way, and they are up for it. Godsend, an old-fashioned team. They are happy to be. Eighth round will be on the board. Big have found a bomb plant in every single round so far, but bomb plants don't mean much if they do not blow up. Unless, of course, you get all the kills, so technically, I guess I'm wrong about that, but even so. Yeah, they don't, they don't necessarily mean round wins. I think that's the underlying principle that we'll <laughs> employ here. His godsend have gotten the retake to work each and every time so far. 3-0 and start, now that we move into the second half, now big knock down a peg. Of course, that additional money from the bomb plant, like you'd highlighted, it's certainly still a factor. So some armor around these pistols and utility as well. All while still being able to afford up guns in the follow-up round. They could be threatening on these. You can see the nade utility being thrown out. And they're oh, pressuring no. out Guys. Monster into pistols. That's oh, no. surely a misstep. Why have God sent done that? I... I don't know. This is, this is so questionable on so many levels, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'll actually talk about this afterwards. I suppose I should run into seeing how this goes. I am perplexed. I am absolutely taken aback by that decision. Makes no sense to me whatsoever. So the reason why I'm so confused is actually because they threw double knife, so you have an idea of how many players there are, and you're still pushing into that. That's just very interesting to see. However, now... Big have made their way over. Eight sides been monopolized. Farlig's found the kill. Farlig does take some damage, but not brought down. Then Taris will be the one to have that honor, as he will now be traded away by Modern. So the bomb cannot be planted too safely. Modern still defending the site. And with the AUG, he's got a perfect gun to block away the long player. Crystal still not rotating over. Modern is so worried about a late round rotation backwards. They know their own game plan is heavily based around late round rotations. Who's to say Big can't do the same? But Tizian and Sirson still alive. They'll peek forward. What an angle for Modern to hold. He's got the info, oh. but not the kill. Tizian says, damn your angle. I will come in regardless. Crystal now in a 1v2. Has to clutch it out. Get oh. one. The spray is there. Crystal has been so good in so many clutch rounds so far. The ninth round guaranteed. Retake, retake, retake. But Godsent will take the round. Oh, the CT side is really worrying. That started out yeah, in that... the worst possible fashion. <laughs> the push was so... But Crystal bailing them out. Again, these really slim retakes. The small margins that factor into it. God said, just narrowly come out ahead. It... And this is where it starts to be a bit of a roadblock here for Big. Because they're making calls and they're finding kills. They're getting opportunities to win these rounds. But it's still being taken out of their hands in so many instances. Sure, they didn't have the best of buys going into that round. But still, they'll be gutted that it's gone away from them. Oh, Seiko's just caught off Tizian. Such an important kill, but he's been brought down immediately afterwards. And Taris there to provide some more backup. A crystal still there to keep things going. Kira, who was trying to come through connector and had been heard, 
is then detected and brought down by Crystal. In the meanwhile, you have to keep an eye out for Cersei all the time. All the time. Cersei is going to be looking to see if he can find Zen or not. If Zen is brought down, then there's a lot more room for these players, but Zen instead just takes the information, backs off. He's not caught out. Cersei misses a shot, but he's given another chance because Zen doesn't go through the dividers. And Paris, in the meanwhile, will find Crystal, who is trying to reclaim some sort of fashion and connect it. But Martin's Martin. positioning should have been perfect. What's going on here? There's so many shots being missed all across the board. That should have been an absolute sitter for Martin. He had the perfect timing as well. Would have likely gone traded, but it would have made it a little bit easier here for Farlig on the AWP. Eliminates Tapson eventually, but Centaurus holds the headshot angle and he gets it done. The first round for Big, it looked a lot better. Of course, they were on rifles this time when they found that advantage, but there were certainly chances for Godsend to answer back. I mean... That just comes down to Martin missing the shots. I mean, look at this. He played look it patient this. as well. Yeah. He's just... At the end of it all, the, the problem just became... He saw the second player as well, and he just wasn't prepared, so he reactively transfers the mm. spray over. And that's forgivable, but that's not forgivable by anyone other than the casters. It's not forgivable on the server. So unfortunately, that means Big will maintain their lead, and Godson can't equalize him. This comes at the worst possible time, and that time is after you've just had to win four 1v1 retakes. Money is an issue for Godsend. One of them wasn't quite a 1v1. Well, that's true. They, they didn't say. have enough health on the three players that survived <laughs> to create one player. That is true. That is true. But... That is true. <laughs> like you could put all of them together and maybe you have a hand. Yeah, just really, really close on these retakes. And you can see the money for Godsend. Sure, they win four straight, but they are broke. Uh, this is like whenever you get your payday, but you spend it all in one place immediately. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it again next week, right? Then you get fired. Oh. It's a hard life, man, okay? One of life's many tragedies. Indeed. Probably shouldn't have broken the boss's window. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> what in the world? What kind of workplace are you living? <laughs> well, not any, not in, in no workplace at this point, apparently. I didn't no. know that was it allowed. It was a friendly little prank. I even put it on YouTube, but hey. <laughs> None anymore. Well, maybe Farley can be breaking some windows and breaking some heads, but unfortunately, as it turns out, fire is a slightly more deadly prank than what he had in mind. And that, kids, is why you don't play with fire. Kido starting to move in. He does get taken down immediately afterwards. Very nice shots from Zen. He's very proficient with the 5-7. It's a nice little bait and switch setup that they've got going. And Martin could do a lot of damage here. They are not expecting this. And Martin, well, he peeked out. Gets one. Can he get more? Damage is there. Yes, oh, but oh. he's done it. Somehow, they've all got it over. And Zantara is now in a 1 versus 3. Does have a chance to clutch it out. But the guns are being picked up. Zantara is moving past. 20 seconds on the clock. No bomb possessed. And Crystal with the AK. And Stiko with the AWP will finish him off. Godsend are not ready to let Big get any momentum just quite yet. Money's still there for the German side, yes. But what a round, what a setup between Zen and Martin. And there are some games we'll look at, either we're casting or watching from the sidelines. There's some games you look at like, yeah, these rounds are pretty clear cut. You can go, it's going to go the way of the team <laughs> that has the advantage. That's fine. That has not been the case this game. So many close moments, so many back and forths as well. And even when Godson didn't have the investment, only that one rifle to work around, it's really the pistols that shine the brightest. Big move into the predominantly stacked A bomb site. And it and hurts. Games... Sorry, go for it, go for it. Oh yeah, it hurts the most because now they're on a scrappy buy. Indeed they are. They could have gone for a bit more actually, but they hmm. choose to stay more fiduciary, uh, they choose to err towards the side of fiduciary responsibility more than anything else, but now they start to creep forward. Zen is waiting for the players on the other side. Kido throws out the smoke early in. The double smokes are there to try and navigate into water and clear it out. Crystals move past. Crystal will fall. And Zen Harris and Tizian are taking over. They're losing all the CT side players. 
Bottom left in a one-on-four, man. I mean, Michael, there are, there's Counter-Strike where it's Denmark in-game leader versus Denmark in-game leader. You have two Danish in-game leaders going up against you. It's beautiful. It's like a synchronized dance. And then you put a German in-game leader versus a German in-game leader. And then you see them just like break dancing down and just really pulling out random street dance moves. Killing four people here and still losing the round. Yeah, two punches, two harder. Yeah. It is very much uh, a boxing match rather than a you know, nice little synchronized dance-off. Step up one. I'll always miss you, Channing Tatum. Oh, Don't you laugh at me. An homage to celebrity crushes. <laughs> that celebrated round there for big. They aired on the side of caution the previous round. They get their hands on an investment that they were willing to make regardless in the AWP. Absolutely loving it. They did. They save all that money on Sears and it's like, wait, what do I do with this now? Now that I've, uh, now I don't even have to make that purchase. <laughs> uh, this is where you just buy an off and throw it away. And then you break your boss's window. Modern, boost it up, oh. comes through. AK-47 to the head is not a pretty way to go, but it is for the people watching. Zantaris to fall. Tabson has made the call. The only AK they saved is on the B-bomb side. Guys, go A, go A, go A. Farling up close. Tabson decapitated. The AK recovered as well. A smoke that allows him space. Tizian cannot track down this trade. And Godson have reinforced this A-bomb site. Alex, what a man moving with him. Crystal's going in. 5-7 at the ready. Tizian does realize it at the very least, but the problem is that Big have got plenty of time to rotate. Now, the problem on the other side is that Godson had the man advantage. So, either way, rotation becomes very, very tricky. They've got two players with AKs and Kevlar. Jumping past. One of them's been tagged up, but Zerson oh. has now been forced to pull out the Deagle and pull out Crystal's head with it. The question is, does Farlick start to aggress through and prevent them from going into connector? 35 seconds on the clock. And Godsent are still dedicated to the A-side, as our big plan. Nice smoke. And the smoke's come out, so the front of the site won't be fully cleared. They instead prioritize bank. Madden, the other side of the site. Hope to eliminate them, but Keto, that close angle being held, is successful. Farley with the rifle that he'd recovered earlier on, still chiming back, so it's a two-on-two. -two. Of course, they had a limited buy coming into this, so no kits available. Oh. Deco. Eliminating Searson. Now Keto has to come in clutch. He brings it to the one-on-one. -on -one. And Farlig, he has to track him down. This is a terrible post plant to have to deal with Farlig. On top of the bin, he gets it. And he has more than enough time to get the AWP and the round with it. God sent these scrappy buys around the one rifle. It's another time they hold it down over towards A. So what we've established so far is... Godson will always win, except when they're about to equalize the rounds. That's been a recurring team, but Godson, man, I mean, I, I've got to give Crystal so many props for this. This was an excellent read coming out from his part. Uh, the call to go to A and then stick it there for so long, that's really nicely done, especially when you consider that even Big didn't really bring their bomb over till about 12 or so seconds afterwards. So the bomb was actually the back of B and then they started to bring it over. Even then, Godson stick to their guns. That's a great call. I have to give him so many props. And obviously, Farlig winning out the 1v1 is always nice as well. Farlig now looking for the shot, will connect and will back off through the smoke afterwards. And with this, the advantage goes away of Godsent. Nice starting, but we know their follow through has sometimes been lackluster. Well, they tried for some short control, some initial pressure over towards B. The bomb is rotating the other way. No real indicators. Nothing that Godsent can stack or feel comfortable in calling and stacking the A bomb site. And now Madden's left alone. So Big are making the right call here. They're reading into the situation quite well. A one and done angle, a full commitment from Madden as well. I think Crystal now realizing that he could be in a bit of a spot is making his way over. Big are simply tempering this out, waiting to see what Godsent do with this man advantage. Zantaris only goes out. It's an immediate shot. Farlig's just on fire right now. Dabson swings out to his death. Keto to accompany him to the grave. And Tizian will be 
the third companion. As good as Tamsin was on the first map, I think, on the first half, rather, I think he ended that half on 20 kills. Now he's sitting on 23. 12 to 12. Vantaris is still here. Searson's still here. Where is Tabson? The equalizing round. It's a cleaner one at that from God's sent. This ET side has been difficult to call at the very least. What are you talking about? The winding road. <laughs> All roads lead to Gonsen's victory, and Sersen, well, he's gone off-roading. He's taken Martin out, and it's time to see whether or not Godsen's win is indeed Rome, or will it be the fall of the Roman Empire? That's some talk of mythology, some history thrown in there as well. Hey, man, uh, Channing Tatum, don't forget. <laughs> yeah, true. Little celebrities in there as well. Could have been man from Rome himself. Certainly has the figure for it. Zen's got the position and the deadliness of a gladiator comes in. Will continue to duel, but the lions have eaten him alive. Farlig repeats oh. and refaces, but can't get the shot. He keeps on going with his crystal. He's used it as a distraction. A three versus three now for Godsend, where Crystal is pushing through, but the rotation back towards B seems to be inevitable, where Steeko lies in wait. Steeko holding for it. The nade lands on Zentaris, but Searson working with the AWP finds the oh. kill. Zentaris as well cracks that B bomb site wide open. Farley was still waiting, seeing if Searson would push in from behind with that AWP, but he's remained elusive. Farley cannot track him down. And a one on three, not looking likely. Farley does spot out Searson, hunting him down, see if he can take that AWP out of his hands. And ooh, this shot from both missions. sides. So they know that Farley is at least there. Taras now will be the one to hunt Farley. They have just bought himself an exit ticket. Again, why is, I mean, Searson's still hunting. The money for big isn't great. So losing weapons here is not ideal in the long run. Go lie yet. <laughs> that's pretty much what's going on in the head of Searson at this point. He's definitely had a very good game, so I wouldn't... Uh, I will never begrudge an opera feeling overly confident if he's having an actually good game, if he's someone like Searson. Now, one thing I have to note, though, is... Uh, I don't like pointing this out, but... There have been a couple of rounds where Farley's missed very crucial shots, and that was one of them. Mm -hmm. He had to land the shot onto the player coming out of toilets, and when that fails, Godson is then put in a position where even though... Well, we're really... The most important thing is that Crystal has to show him his position. So, Big have much more information, and they can call for the rotation back to be much more easily, and Steko realizes this, which is why he takes a duel, and yes, he loses out the 1v1 versus Zantaris. That's something that's completely understandable, though. The kill that they really needed was the AWP. Now, though, it's going to be aggression out long. Yeah, waiting for aggression. Waiting for Crystal to make the first moves. And close connector as well. Big need to make sure to check their corners. Oh, the fast adaptation there from Kido. Searson wins his fight. The patience game at long as well. Zen's all that's left of this initial setup. And he's trying to track Tabson down. Cannot hit. The final bullet needed. So Farley has to fall. Back to the site. Steeko just with a UMP at B. They're headed his direction. I mean, this just seems impossible. Steeko, he's got to find a spray through the smoke or something like that, but can't afford to give away his position either. Comes in, does get the first, and now Farley's in a one versus two. A doable position, but the bomb's being planted, and he can't do anything about it. Bomb has been planted. And the Eagle pulled out. expect this. Oh, oh no! How many shots are you going to miss, Farlick? How many shots is it going to be? He's trying to work around this corner. He's trying to go in. Oh, the Farlick way. even lands it, but it's the leg. Farlick just can't oh get anything God, working so... for him. It just isn't working. He can't get it done. They're just running away from him, and they know at this point they've got to thank their lucky stars. Farlick has had enough. He can't win this out. When he finally lands a shot, it's not to the head, it's not to the chest, it's not what he needs. 12 to 14. Broken hearts and broken dreams. Godsend's economy lies right there next to the shattered pieces. 
they are going to force fight and that'll be for the game that'll be for the win farlig will keep enough money now even he's buying up oh wow I mean, Bold I decision to, i just want to say that's not even just farlig everyone involved in that entire three match situation that's true missing a lot of shots that is true but he had the chance he had the window could have made it a 13th for god sent and now it's the deagles This is with Godsend getting some Hail Mary rounds around a rifle and pistols. So this is still a threatening buy here for Godsend, given the success it's had in the past. Thing is, do Big allow Lightning to strike three times in the same place? I feel like it's already been three times, honestly, but definitely the question is how oh. Lightning Rock is Brig and Stikos found the first head. That's not the very least is good for the trade, but the nade damage keeps him guessing. The double op on the terrorist side is always an iffy play to go for, but now Martin's position could be enormous. They are not expecting him inside the toilets and they're not clearing this out. And Farlick has to sit on the site. The first line of defense, Kino flushes him out. The kill, the second as well. The entries are great for big. Martin, sure, you can pull off this flank, but there's so many players to find. But, oh, Miss Joss, don't be the way that you start things off. Not the way that you want. Big 15. And their victory seems inevitable. This is a big, we are ready to go home. Capes flying, bouquets of flower. Rosing over there, rising over their heads, rosing over their heads. Terrible pun. <laughs> but God sent. They have the exact same chance in this round that they had in the previous one. Do Big realize that their economy is as weak as it is at this point? Do we see any adjustments from Big or are they going to be trapped in versus this buy? Four players concentrate around the B bomb site, but none of them belonging to the terrorists at this point the bomb is making its way over farlig again in such a hot position needs to start fragging out and with a minute and 15 on the clock farlig is going to see them crossing onto him can't land the shots again just cannot get the better of them This could be it. They focus on connector instead here for God sent tabs and making sure that they cannot backstab as they set up for an A-sided execute from that long position. The bomb's still positioned in that direction. Stiko MP9 gets nothing. And a five on two that Madden and Crystal will have to try and pull off just to keep things going here on overpass and it's just crystal all that's left first league is good but he's flashed up they track him down and big get it over the line that's the map pick of godsend gone the way of big we saw the first map being picked by big but it went the way of godsend that means we go the three map distance we go the full series inferno 